Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, today is day 26, the last day of open. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm really good at starting things. I start things really with such enthusiasm and, and, you know, it's like, wow. And then somewhere in the middle, I go, what was I doing? <laughs> and then I end it, I go, God, I'm not sure if I did what I said I was going to do, but we did something. Um, so I'm always really struck by the fact that for me, the most important thing is turning up, just turning up and moving, connecting in. And I make up all these things that we say, oh, we're going to look at this and we're going to look at that. But the main thing is that we turn up relentlessly uh, de with determination, with kindness, with compassion. Uh, we turn up, we connect, we listen in. Yeah, and I feel like we're doing that. We are turning up. And whether or not we, we did what we said we would do in open, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure we will do what we say we will do in, in belong. But we're turning up and we're moving and it's different every day. And this is magic. Um, so I'll see. Yeah, I'll see what we're going to do today. I um, I walked the dogs for a long time this morning, so I, I don't know what we're going to do, but I feel like I'd love to move my hips really deeply on the floor. Um, so come sit on your mat and we shall begin. Um, it's very nice to be here this morning. Um, I can feel I'm a bit tired, but it's a really nice feeling to turn up and move even in the midst of that. Um, so come, come, come. <clears throat> so you're sitting on your mat and just begin by rocking your bum from side to side and even this action will begin the connection into our lower back and as I lift my bum I'm going to start dropping my ear down on that side a little bit more you can have your hands on the floor I think I like my hands on the floor and so now I'm including more of the waist, the neck, the rib cage. Nice. Shimmy forward. <laughs> Walk yourself forward. More. Come, come on, go on, go on. <laughs> more, more, more. And then go backwards. If you're doing this on a yoga mat, you might start losing your trousers, but that's okay. <laughs> you're not in the class. You're just here with me. So walking back until you're back where you began. Did it take you longer to walk backwards? I tend to forward is easier than backwards for me. Nice. Roll your ankles in a big circle. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Bring your big toe, baby toe side down, a bit like windscreen wipers. Windscreen wipers. That's a, a phrase that I find hard to say. <laughs> and then both baby toes, both big toes. Both baby toes, both big toes. Nice. Cool. And then bend your right knee, bring your foot up towards you, and just hold on to your toes and pull them up like you're looking at your foot. Drop your head down as low as you can and just take a few breaths here. So I'm really dropping my eyes towards my toes and I'm pulling my toes towards my eyes. I'm just feeling that, noticing that. Nice. Drop your knee out to the side and look at the sole of your foot and try and bring your face as close to your foot as you can. Hmm. All kinds of sensations here. Waist, neck, back, knee, thigh, foot. Nice. Stretch your leg out long. Take a sigh, pause for a moment, feel the difference between one side and the other. Nice, bend your left knee, pull your toes up towards you, look at your left foot. Try and get your face as close to your foot as you can. 
like you've just stubbed your toe and you're checking out how bad is it <laughs> so i've continued to brush my teeth in a squatting position all month which is quite amazing i every morning as i put my shoes on because it's the only time i really wear shoes is in the morning when i go for the walk um when i put my shoes on for the walk in the morning unless i go out of course um I try and do it without any wall support. Um, yeah, it's really interesting noticing my back, how it's different, different days for no apparent reason. Um, now bring your face down towards the left foot. So turn the left foot wide and check it out. How low can you go down towards that left foot? As I look here at my left foot, I can see the nail puncture of where it happened. And it was amazing the insight and understanding I had when I stood on the nail. I don't know when that was. Sometime in open, there was a nail. <laughs> Come back to center. This time, swing your right foot as far to the right as you can. And just pause there. Maybe reach your hand over towards the right as well. That's quite nice. Super. Bring your foot back to center and do the same side again. Swing the right foot as far to the right as you can. Reach your right hand and come back. Do that a few times. Swing your foot, reach back. Swing your foot, reach and back. One more time. Swing your foot, reach and back. Other side, swing your left foot and pause <clears throat> reaching your left hand towards the in front of the left foot nice come back left foot back reach touch left foot back reach touch one more time left foot back reach and touch nice so bring your feet as wide, maybe two feet apart, and then come down into 1990. So 1990 is bigger than zigzag. So I've gone over towards the left. And 1990 is where I'm trying to have 90 degree angles in both of my knees. And therefore, as a result, there's maybe a foot and a half or maybe a foot in the, <clears throat> probably a foot and a half, that looks bigger, uh, between my left foot and my right knee. Bring my hands either side of the left thigh and try and come down to bring my belly down towards the left thigh, nose towards my knee, rising up, look up towards the ceiling. Nice. And dropping down, rising up, up towards the ceiling. So just find your flow with this. What are you meeting? As I look up, I actually want to lift my hands off the floor because if I keep my hands on the floor, I can't look up in the same way. I feel like I'm blocked somehow. So see for you if you want to lift your hands off the floor as you look up towards the ceiling. One more time. Nice. Bring your hands down. Bring your chest down towards that right left thigh. And then... Can you lift the right foot off the floor? Can you lift your right knee off the floor? So I'm kind of swaying, I'm trying to pivot that leg. So knee lifts, foot tiny bit lifts. Wow, I was amazed. I think I have ranges. And then I try and do things like this and I'm like, oh my God, I don't have a range in that direction. Just feel that. How much distance can you lift your foot off the floor? Can you lift your knee off the floor? Foot off the floor, knee off the floor. And then we're just going to try and lift the whole leg. Okay, so oh, actually that's better. Down, lift your leg, the right leg. Down one more time, lift the right leg and down. Right, sitting up, stretch your legs out long. Mm, roll into your belly. Wow, the outside of my right hip. <laughs> it's 
not quite cramping, but it's close. Roll your belly and then roll in the other direction. <clears throat> right, so bend both knees and then drop both knees down towards the right. And again, I'm just paying a little bit of attention that I'm in the 90-90. So there's 90 degree angles in both of my knees and there's a space between my right foot and my left knee. Bring both hands either side of that right leg and bring your nose down towards that right knee. And then look up towards the ceiling. And as I look up, I'm really trying to lift through the belly as I look up. It's like I want to rise through the whole of me as I look up. It's just a nice exploration. How do we turn up with authenticity? How do we turn up and be how we are in the midst of the actions that we are doing in the class? that we're doing in life so for me that's tracking sensations really honoring sensations one more time so now for the gnarly bit <laughs> hands either side of that right thigh drop your chest down and then try and lift your foot and try and lift your knee foot <laughs> I make faces here. Good thing I'm not looking at the camera. When I try and lift my left foot, I make a very strange face. And my whole body is trying to adapt or my, like my whole body is moving to try and let that left foot lift. So I'm going to try and stay still in my body so that it's only the leg that's doing it rather than my spine and my pelvis and my face. <laughs> Just notice, how do you find that range? One more time. And then try and lift the whole leg. And down. <laughs> down. <laughs> down one more time. Good. Roll out through your belly. Hmm. So, um, yeah, how do you listen to, so anytime I injure myself, um, I tend not to have any pain in my body. It's a thing that I don't have pain, but I injure myself because I stand on nails and I, I do things I, like I kick up into handstands and do things to my calves and stuff. So lean forward. And so when I do things like that, I start to really examine, look up towards the ceiling, leaning forward. I try to examine what is possible in wellness how can i move my body in wellness the same thing if there's something that's uncomfortable right now for you how do you move in wellness including your sensations and what you're doing so make the movements smaller make the movements slower and really listen to the moment where your body goes oh that feels strong enough for me right now well, maybe you're leaning forward for me, my nose touches the floor very easily here. Maybe yours doesn't. One more time. Super cool. Come onto your hands and knees. Nice. From here, lift your right knee off the floor, let it hover, and then bring your right knee out to the side, straight out to the side, and then down. So I just feel that. And as you do this, let your spine twist. So as I move, my pelvis rocks, my weight changes, I can feel a twist in my rib cage. I just feel that. So everything is moving to help me lift that right leg. Nice, other side, left leg. Again, feel how everything is moving. My ribs are moving. My pelvis is moving. My leg is moving. My opposite shoulder is compressing. My head is moving. Everything's moving. <clears throat> so this time we're going to do it. We're going to imagine that there's a cup of tea resting on our sacrum. 
So let your right knee float off the floor. And now keeping your sacrum steady, just bring your knee out to the side. It's a very different range. So this is true leg movement. The other one is your spine and pelvis's ability to pivot. So just lift your knee without moving your pelvis, without moving your sacrum. <clears throat> nice. And then bring your knee to your elbow. Bring your foot towards the ceiling. And bring your knee to your elbow. Again, I'm trying to imagine that there's a, a cup of tea on my pelvis. And I'm trying to keep a sense of steadiness in my pelvis as I do this. Foot rises. Knee. To... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sorry. The hounds of the Baskervilles are on downstairs. Okay, other side. <laughs> so let the left knee travel out to the side without your pelvis moving. And then left knee out to the side. There must be a fox outside or something. Left knee to the side. Nice, one more time. Left knee to the side. Keeping your cup of tea on your spine. Now bring your knee to your elbow. Foot to the ceiling. Oh God, hold on a second. One moment, please. I'm back. <laughs> so, left knee out to the side. Oh, we're doing elbow to your knee, foot to the ceiling. Just keeping that sense of containment or steadiness in your pelvis. Nice. So, we're going to draw a figure of eight with the right knee. So, draw your right knee towards the left hand, towards the right hand. And then just try and draw a big random figure of eight with your right knee. Could you draw a figure of eight with your knee? You can use the sky behind you. You can use the space in front of you. How would you draw... A really big figure of eight with your knee. <laughs> or whatever kind of figure <laughs> starts to emerge. Mine is this really, it's like a G. You know those amazing Gs that you see on Times Helvetica? Change the direction of your knee. Oh, the other, the other way around, I can get a really clear figure of eight, actually. Notice that when you change direction, did it get clearer or harder to draw a figure of eight? <laughs> nice. Bring your right knee behind your left knee and then sit your bum back. I'm going to walk my hands a little bit forward and sit my bum back. So my left knee is on the floor. My right knee is tucked in behind it. And I'm sitting my bum back deeply. Nice. Both knees to the floor. Left knee, draw a figure of eight using the sky behind you. Again, this is a funny side for me. I don't quite get a figure of eight shape. And then change direction. There's the figure of eight. I knew there was a figure of eight here. Use as much of the space around you as you need to, to really create a big figure of eight with your knee. Nice, tuck your knee in behind the right. Walk your hands a little bit forward, sit your bum back. Nice, both knees to the floor. Come lie on the floor. Landing in. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And then I'm going to shimmy my spine so it's away from my hips. And just wiggle your toes so your toes say hello to each other. And then lift your feet off the floor. Drop them down. Lift your hips off the floor. Drop them down. Feet. Maybe you draw your feet really close to your belly. Down. Lift your pelvis down let us begin to travel 
feet lift, hips lift, feet lift, hips lift, hmm, feet lift, hips lift, nice. Close the book over towards the right side. Slide your right foot up so it tucks in behind your left knee. Reach the left arm long and bring weight to the outside of that right left thigh. Did I say left arm long? I hope I did. So you're twisting. Nice, soles your feet together, other side. Drop your book over towards the left side. Slide your right foot up, tuck it in behind the left knee. Hold on to the outside of the left knee, stretch your right arm long. And just breathe into that. Nice. Release. Just sway your knees from side to side. And just wonder how it is to be in your body right now. What is the feeling of now? How do you track it? Where do you feel it? So we'll just do two different ways of doing that. So just notice your body right now. Feel into the sensations. And then feel into the wellness of you. Where can you rest in wellness in your body? Where is there a sense of okayness, a sense of resource right now? Very nice. How oh, wonderful. So yeah, so open we went over time. I think every single day we went over time. <laughs> it was open ended. It was. That was very lovely. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, sorry about the dog moment. Dog moment. Um, so I'll see you on Monday. So today is Wednesday. So we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday off from yoga. Some of you do yoga in your like you go back over the archives or ones that you've missed. Some of you take a complete break, which is also very cool. Um, I'll be pottering away, thinking about belonging. Every morning as I walk, I dwell on what does it mean to belong in my life? You know, where do I belong? How do I create belonging? How do I allow belonging? You know, um, I'm very, very, yeah, it's, it feels like a deep and powerful question in me that hopefully we will endeavor to journey with together. Um, so I will see you Monday morning, bright and early. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend, have a great week. And uh, thanks for joining me. Really such a pleasure to be here and to listen in and connect and journey together uh, as we travel along in this life. So I'll see you Monday. Ciao, ciao.